My name is John Frizzell. I'm the platform architect with Red Hat Mobile. I've been working in the mobile space since 2008 and have been part of the Red Hat family since the Feed Henry acquisition in 2014. The Red Hat Mobile application platform is an all-in-one solution for developing, deploying, managing and monitoring uh, mobile solutions and integrations into backend systems. Building for mobile is a very different paradigm to developing for traditional web or desktop applications. Um, the type of application, how it's built, where certain pieces of logic should live are quite different for mobile because of things like um, bad networks, low connectivity, the volume of data you transmit and, and the amount of requests you make. It's a lot more difficult to push updates out than it is for traditional web applications where you simply have to deploy an update to the web server and users automatically get the updates through the browser. With mobile applications, and in particular when you're looking at the public app store, where you can't force users to update, it's very important to think about that update and upgrade cycle. You may have a period of weeks while you wait for a review from Apple before your update gets pushed out. So if you have significant uh, logic in the client side, you're going to find that you're doing more bug fixes, more patches, and more updates to the application on device, meaning more updates in the App Store and more time spent pushing those out. So keeping the, the mobile application as thin and lightweight as possible is a really crucial to successful mobile development, and the way the platform lays out the solution for you really encourages taking that approach. However, for enterprises, and the primary focus of the Red Hat mobile application platform is more so for enterprises, what you find with enterprises is they have mobile device management solutions that are used for managing devices and pushing out updates of applications. So the Red Hat mobile application platform integrates with three of the top mobile device management providers. So as you're building your mobile application within the Red Hat platform, you can hook it up to your MDM provider and have it push the generated application directly into the MDM provider uh, so that it can then be pushed out to devices. So it provides a seamless integration. One of the features of the Red Hat Mobile Platform is the ability to build your mobile binaries in the cloud within our platform without having to have developer tools for the various platforms installed on your local system. One of the key benefits of the Red Hat Mobile Platform from a developer perspective is that the platform really helps you lay out the architecture of your mobile solution. And I say solution because it's more than just an app. The app on device is the piece people think about, it's the phone in your hand, but it's always or almost always connected to back-end systems. So the platform helps you lay out the solution in terms of the mobile piece, a dedicated microservice for the mobile, acting as an API server, and then reusable MBAS components for integration into back-end systems. So the next thing the developer should be aware of is that the Red Hat mobile platform comes with a command line tool that offers all the same functionality as the studio. So as soon as you move into development mode, you have terminal windows open, you have Vim or Emacs or WebStorm, whatever your preferred editor is, and you're in your standard develop, test, commit flow. Um, you're really just working in your standard flow there, and you can integrate the FHC tool as much or as little as you want into that. The recent release of version 4 of the Red Hat mobile platform add support for being able to use OpenShift as the MBAS part of the solution. So the MBAS is where your Node.js applications live, the things that the mobile app will talk to. They can now be hosted as a set of Docker format containers using Kubernetes and all of the benefits, benefits of OpenShift, and that can be deployed as an on-premise offering. There's a range of different technologies at play within Red Hat Mobile Application Platform. On the server side, we have Node.js, so that's JavaScript on the server side, as our API serving layer and backend integration layer. On the client side, there's a range of different technologies to match the different mobile operating systems. There's native iOS for both Swift and Objective-C, there's native Android, and then there's cross-platform, and that's one of our more popular ones, the uh, Apache Cordova project. So depending on what skill sets a, a developer already has, so a typical web developer, for example, who's already familiar with Angular, um, would be able to get going quite quickly using the Angular Quick Start application. So there's a, a quite a wide range of skill sets available or required, depending on the type of mobile solution being 
developed.